Welcome to Pepperprint. With this short movie, we want to demonstrate how easy it is to use the PepperChip Peptide Microarray Platform for the fingerprint analysis of antibodies, sera, kinases, or proteins. PepperChip Peptide Microarrays cover thousands of peptides immobilized on coated glass slides. Peptide microarray analysis involves various lab processes. Blocking, pre-staining with a labeled secondary antibody, incubation with the main sample, staining with secondary antibody, and optionally with control antibodies. In the following, the use and handling of our pepper chip peptide microarrays is demonstrated step by step. First, place the base plate of the pepper chip incubation tray in front of you. Pepper chip peptide microarrays should be handled with care and only touched at the edges of the glass slide. Each peptide microarray is marked with a serial number on its back side. Place the slide in a cavity of the base plate with the peptides facing up. The slide number must appear in the upper right corner in a mirror view manner. Fill empty slide holders with dummy slides to prevent breakage of the array slide. Place the seal with the glossy side facing down onto the slides. Place the cover plate of the incubation tray onto the seal. Tighten all thumb screws carefully. Now the tray is prepared. Slowly add blocking, washing or incubation buffers to one or more wells of the incubation tray. Finally, add the lid of the incubation tray to avoid evaporation. Use an orbital shaker to get optimal wetting. Rocking shakers may cause de-wetting of the slide surface and are not recommended. Remove blocking, washing and incubation buffers by suction with a pipette or a suited pump system. For washing, add washing buffer in an array well and cover the incubation tray again with the lid. Use an orbital shaker for incubation, followed by removal of the washing buffer again by suction. Dismount the incubation tray and remove the pepper chip peptide microarrays carefully from the tray. Dip the slide into deionized water to remove residual washing buffer. Dry the slide in stream of air or inert gas by blowing off water droplets from top to bottom. The use of centrifuges for drying is not recommended. Scan the array image using a microarray scanner or plate reader. Pepper chip peptide microarrays are compatible with most microarray scanners like the GenePix, Agilent, or the Lycor scanners. In general, all steps of the protocol follow a similar scheme. Place a pepper chip peptide microarray into the incubation tray. Incubate and wash. Remove the slide from incubation tray. Dip the chip into water followed by drying. Scan the pepper chip peptide microarray. Depending on the intended assay, only a few handling steps are required. For more information, please have a look at the standard protocol available from our website. The high quality of the pepper chip and the easy-to-use construction of the incubation tray provides a straightforward way to investigate antibody epitopes as well as serum and kinase signatures. We invite you to benefit from today's new standard of peptide microarrays with thousands of peptides per chip and unique content flexibility. Get more information at www.pepperprint.com or by email at support at pepperprint.com.